This month in May, I was supposed to only join one readathon, the one that I'm hosting. I happened to look on Twitter and I found this one right here. Do I ex expect to read as much as I have here? No, but I just wanted to just try out and join my readathon because I want to read more versus the readathon. This is the whole month versus a week, so let's see how this goes. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Akira and this is my channel called Zachla's Books. Today I'll be showing you all my TBR for the Medieval Readathon, which is a readathon uh, based all on medieval times, just the whole era of them. Uh, believe it or not, I was a huge fan of medieval books because they're mostly like fancy ones. Although this is not a fancy based readathon, a bunch of the books that I liked that were in the medieval times were fancy. And I'm not gonna lie, most of them let me down, but you know, let's not talk about that. I'm really excited to join this because it reminds me of an RPG, a role playing game. And I really love role playing games where you get to choose your weapons, you get to choose your class, and all that stuff. So I was really excited. This readathon is a little different for me. Each challenge is based on what weapon you choose, what outfit you choose, and such like that. But overall, apparently, there's a ranking system. Apparently, I'm going to be ignoring that. I don't. I guess I put it here um, because I don't really care for the ranks. That are on there. I don't like any of them, so I'm just gonna ignore it. I'm just gonna choose the challenges that interest me based on weapons I like and based on what I would like my fiction character in my mind to be. Starting with my wardrobe, I decided the one that's selected here. I'm trying to move over so I can leave enough space that I could put it there when I edit it. Uh, which and the prompt is to read. A book with your favorite color on the spine. This was extremely hard to find. Even when I joined at the last minute, I couldn't. I was trying to look through my physical pile because those I could see the spine on. The digital, I can't really find that one. And my favorite color happens to be orange. I actually have two. It's orange or green. So I chose the 10,000 Doors of January for this book prompt because... On the side, there is some green and there is some oranges if you look between the crevices, so it can count either or, but I think the most prominent reason is the green on the leaves on the spine. For like most of these books, because I've had them for so long, they've sat on my, in my, um, to be read pile or, you know, a red pile, whatever I'm going to call it. For so long, I forgot what most of these books are about. This book specifically I got as a book choice when I joined YA Book of the Month Affiliate. And I haven't read it since then. Am I going to put some reason this? No, I'm not. Because I like to go into a book surprised and like to learn about it as I go. So I won't be reading any of the summaries. Now on to my weapons. I chose... Two. I chose the daggers and the bow and arrow. The, the prompt for the daggers is to start or finish a duology. This one I chose the first book to the Six of Crows duology, whatever they call the, this duology. Uh, you're probably wondering why I'm holding both of them. I don't expect to read both of these books in one day, but I like to keep all of my series together, especially if I haven't read them, so I know what book is next. What I plan to read is definitely Try to read is the first book, Six of Crows. I don't plan to read Cricket Kingdom, no, Cric Cricket Kingdom, this month. But if I do, I'll be surprised, which will be very, a very, very slim. It shows how much I love the first book. I have to really love the first book for me to even think about the second book. But yeah, now for the bow and arrow, which you're supposed to read. Uh, romance i am not a romance reader i don't really care for romance i don't mind it honestly but if it's in the book it needs to be the subplot for this one uh i chose i have here the another duology 
apparently the books happen to be part of a duology. Uh, I'm going to read in the first book, Ad Adoption by Melinda Lowe. I have read Ash by her, which is like this F, F retelling of Cinderella. And I absolutely loved it. So I was hoping to read another book by the author and I happened to come across these. I think they're counted as a duology. There's a novella out apparently called Natural Selection. But I don't think I'll be reading that. I think I'll be mostly focusing on these two. Well, one. I don't plan to read both of these books. And since I really loved Ash, I can hope that I like Adaption by her as well. So I'm really pumped for this. And it's, uh, I'm pretty sure it's a YA, uh, dystopia or something like that. Uh, I don't really, I don't know. I feel so bad. Every time I do a TBR, I never know what the, what the book is about or anything like that. But it's me. Now on to the the pets. I only chose one, which is the fox. Uh, I actually love foxes. I just really love them. And so once I saw that fox on here, I had a feeling this was the only choice I was going to choose. Straight in point. Um, the prompt for it is to read the book with orange on a dust jacket. Well, or the book cover. Just the book cover in general. In this case, I'm going to be choosing a old arc that's been a release. So is it February something? And it's going to stay on there. But if you see the cover here, I'm going to be reading Refractors, a volume one ebook. This book is a heavy read. It's about like 600 plus pages, and this is going to kill me. I'm feeling this is not going to be read this month. It, it, there's no way. I could barely breeze through a 300 page, 200 page book from my last month TBR. I doubt I will be getting through this. I know this one is definitely like this, like a fantasy, like superhero type of thing, and, uh, I really appreciate that the person gave me this arc, and I don't want to DNF it at all. I really want to, one month, get through this, even if it's not this month. Anyway, that's all the books that I plan to read. It's not really a ambitious in any sense, but it's something that I know that I can at least withstand the goal of reading. At least try to read one to two books, max two. I doubt I'm reading all of these, but if I do, I will be shocked. I know that the readathon started, but at least I'm not that late into it, and it's pretty early. It's the first day, which I didn't know what I planned is. I thought I had, like, at least one more day. I forgot there's only three days in April, so pretty excited for all of these books. I am a huge fan of readathons. They help me read. I hope I'm able to join reading friends for these books so I can at least get through one. Just... Just I'm just joining so I can have fun and get back into reading. Anyway, thank you for watching and the next video that you'll be seeing is another TBR from my plug and readathon. So can't wait to see that I already planned it out, which I am plan a plan reader. Like I like to choose my books, but I don't plan the order, so I guess we'll have to see what book I read first during the month. So uh see you then guys everyone.